Hi everyone! So today we are now in the fourth quarter and our first lesson is about the area of circle. Let's watch this. So we are now in fourth quarter, week one, and our first lesson is about the area of circle and how to solve a problem involving area of circle. For today's discussion, we have learned from the previous lesson that the distance around the circle is the circumference. Meanwhile, we want to know the space covered by the interior of the circle. We refer to it as the radius. So, the area of the circle with radius is given by the formula A equals pi r square. So, wherein ito ay pi ang binabasa natin, pinag-aralan natin sa circumference. Then, r stands for radius. And this one too, we read it as square. Or, area equals r times r times pi. So, R, again, stands for radius. And pi is equivalent with 3.14. So, let us study the problem. A street sweeper is working on her area when she noticed an open manhole. For the safety of the pedestrians, she knows that she must find a cover for the manhole. She found an old manhole cover in their stock room that has top surface area of 3,000 square centimeter. If the diameter of the open manhole is 60 centimeters, would the old manhole cover be useful? Given the diameter of the man manhole is 60 centimeter, so therefore, the radius is 30 centimeters, or yung kalahati na 60. So, follow the formula A equals R times R times pi. So, substitute the number. So, we're in radius is 30 centimeters. So, A equals 30 times 30 times 3.40. So, unahin natin yung 30 times 30. 30 times 30 equals 900 centimeters squared times 3.40. So, let us compute. 900 times 3.40. So, as we all know, any number we multiply it by 0 is equivalent to 0. So, 4 times 0 equals 0, then 0. 4 times 9 equals 36. Next, 1 naman tayo. 1 times 0 equals 0. So, dito tayo sa tenth digit magtatapat. 0, then 1 times 9 equals 9. Next, 3 times 0 sa hundreds place naman tayo. 0, 0, then 3 times 9 equals 27. So, let us add the partial product. 0, 0, 6, 12, carry 1, 8, 2. Following the rule of multiplication with decimals, so move natin going to the right, ang 3.14, yung decimal point, 1, 2. So kung nag-move tayo ng dalawa sa partial, uh, final product natin, mag-move tayo going to the left, dalawa din. 1, 2. So the final answer is 2,826 squared centimeter. Pwede natin dalawang uh, way ng pagsusulat ng squared centimeter. Pwede CM, tapos power up 2, or 2,826 squared centimeter. Therefore, kasha ba yung old na takip ng manhole na 3,000 squared centimeter? The answer is no. Kasi mas maliit lang yung manhole, butas ng manhole, which is 2,826 squared centimeter. Let us try another example. So, based on our given, ito ay diameter, diba? Dahil buo. Half of the circle ang buhit niya. So, diameter of 20 meters. So, therefore, kukunin natin ang radius niyan. Then, the radius or the half of diameter is 10 meters. After we find the radius, we will use the formula. A equals R times R times Pi. Hindi natin gagamitin yung r square para hindi na rin kayo masyado malito. So, substitute the numbers. A equals 10 times 10 times 3.14. So, 
So, as we all know, 10, unahin natin ng 10 times 10 equals 100 squared meter. So, wag natin kakalimutan ng unit. So, times 3.14, kapag minultiply natin, 100 times 3.14 is equivalent to 314 squared meter. So, that is the area of circle. From the learning task 1, find the area of each circle in, and then complete the table below. So, number 1 is done for you. So, ang ating given na number 1, 8 feet. So, ang 8 feet na yan ay radius. So, therefore, kapag ginawa natin yung table, na given ang diameter, radius, then radius squared, then area. So, ang given natin na radius, 8 feet. So, therefore, ang diameter, double ng 8 feet equals 16 feet. So, get naman natin ang radius, dalawang square, uh, radius square. So, 8 times 8 equals 64 feet or 64 squared feet. Therefore, ang area natin is 29600 square foot or square feet. So, 234 is done. Uh, answer it in your paper. So, in finding the area of circle, just remember the two formulas. If the given is radius, use this formula. A equals pi r square or A equals pi times r times r. And re is read as pi, then r squared. This means multiply the value of radius by itself, then multiply the product to the value of pi, which is 3.14. If the given is diameter, follow the steps below. Divide the diameter by 2 to find the radius. Then use the formula A equals pi r squared. So now let us analyze naman if the given is problem. The students are eating pizza inside their classroom. The pizza has a diameter of 40 decimeters covered with assorted toppings. What is the area of the circular base of the pizza? Okay, so you, do you love to eat pizza? Okay, me too. Ayan. So let us answer it by following the four-step plan, which is the understand, plan, solve, then check. So let us answer what is un need to be understand. Ask the area of the circular base of a pizza. The given is diameter, which is the 40 decimeter. Then plan. Find the formula or area of a circle. So, formula is A equals pi r squared. Then, the operation is multiplication. Then, solve. So, following the formula A equals pi r squared, then substitute the numbers. So, A area equals 3.14 times 20 squared. So, 20 squared equals 20 times 20. So, 20 times 20 equals 400. Multiplied by 3.14 is equivalent to 1,256 squared decimeters. So, let us check and look back. Just check if the processes are done correctly. Tingnan nyo mabuti yung mga pag-multiply, then pagpulalagay ng tamang decimal point. So, our reference is 21st Century Matlitz 5, pages 302 to 309. Thank you for watching. Thank you, my dear Road to 2,000 subscribers. Huwag niyo pong kalilimutan mag-like and subscribe sa aking YouTube channel. Bye!